Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 202. Passive and Active Immunity. We have already talked about innate and adaptive immunity. Now let's talk a bit about passive and active immunity. What is passive immunity? Passive immunity, as the name suggests, it's immunity that is passed from one person to another. So basically, in passive immunity, one person is given antibodies of another person. Give some examples of passive immunity. Examples of passive immunity is when you get immunoglobulin A from breast milk, antitoxin injections, and humanized monoclonal antibody. What is the means of acquisition of passive immunity? As we already mentioned, the means of acquisition is to receive performed antibodies. Is the onset of passive immunity rapid or slow? The onset of passive immunity is rapid. What is the duration of passive immunity? The duration of passive immunity is for a short span. It has a half-life of about three weeks. Give some examples of situation in which you would want to give performed antibodies to create passive immunity. Some situations in which you would need to give performed antibodies would be after exposure to tetanus toxin, botulinum toxin, hepatitis B, and rabies virus. What is the mnemonic to help you remember some of these conditions in which you would want to give performed antibodies? The mnemonic just remember to be healed rapidly. So you would give performed antibodies to create passive immunity when you would want a person to be healed rapidly. So that's 2 for tetanus toxin, B is for botulinum toxin, healed is for hepatitis B virus, and rapidly is the rabies virus. What is active immunity? Active immunity is what happens when you're exposed to a foreign antigen for the first time. When this happens, B and T cells are activated and they form memory B and T cells. And these memory cells will then be able to remember each specific pathogen that was encountered and they will mount a strong response if the pathogen is ever detected again. What is the means of acquisition of active immunity? Again, as we already mentioned, active immunity starts when you're exposed to a foreign antigen for the first time. Describe the onset of active immunity. Active immunity has a slow onset because it takes time for memory to develop against a certain antigen. Describe the duration of active immunity. Active immunity lasts a long time because there is memory that is formed against that antigen. What are some examples of active immunity? Examples of active immunity would include natural infections, vaccines, and toxoids. These are all different ways in getting active immunity, so if any time that pathogen is ever encountered again, the body will fight it without any interruptions because it has a memory towards that pathogen. One additional thing to note is that passive and active immunizations can be given in case of hepatitis B or rabies exposure. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.